Ken Kitchenelli joins us now. Ken, great to talk to you this morning. It's, um, you know, morning. look, it, it's an incredibly sad story to talk about a four-year-old found among not just illegal immigrants, but among smugglers. Why is that right. happening? So it's a sad story, but, uh, you know, this happens all the time. The routes that the cartels use, and remember who manages the border, it isn't the federal government of the United States, it's the drug cartels of Mexico, some of the most evil, vicious people in the Western Hemisphere. And they run their human smuggling operation through the exact same channels that they run their drug smuggling operation through. Um, and they direct the flows to distract and move the border patrol around using people to try and avoid getting their high value crossings caught um, and to put as many of them over the border as possible. There are some estimates that the drug cartels are now making more money from human smuggling than from drug smuggling. And no one, federal government or states, including Texas, is doing anything to stop that flow. Hmm. I hear you. I hear you bringing up Texas. Let's discuss Texas. Yeah. The governor of Texas, uh, Greg Abbott, has embarked on his campaign to send illegal immigrants to Washington, D.C. I think a third bus has arrived in Washington, D.C. to yeah. to essentially lay the problem at the feet of the federal government. What do you think of this program? Well, it's the last leg in a human smuggling chain that we have been criticizing the federal government for doing. Uh, you know, the recent articles about renewing f charter flights around the country of illegals farther in, and now Texas is doing it. I understand why you want to drop them in the steps of the Capitol, um, but these are voluntary trips. They want to take the trip. Governor Abbott is paying to bus them 26 hours on a trip they want to take. Instead of busing them two miles back across the Mexican border, which is what he should be doing. And until he does that, let me be really clear about this, until he does that, and he does have the authority to remove people from Mexico to Mexico, the illegal flow will not go down. So for all the signing with Mexican state governors and so forth who don't have any authority to stop immigration across our border, it's all a show. It is all a show. And you'll see next month when the numbers come out, before Title 42 is taken down on May 23rd, you will see that it had no effect at all on the flow of illegal immigration. So, Ken, I hear you, and, and I can hear very specifically you are laying blame not just at the feet of the federal government, but directly on Texas right. and the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott. You are saying that this is all political theater. I had here right. on Fox and Friends last weekend both Attorney General Ken Paxton and Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick on the program, and I asked them about essentially your accusation before it was made, Ken, that this is political theater. And both of their response is the point is to force a constitutional confrontation, to force the federal government to confront the fact they're not enforcing our immigration laws so Texas or someone must. In essence, what they're saying, and I want to get your response, is this is supposed to force us to the Supreme Court on who can enforce illegal immigration laws. Well, and Ken Paxson and Dan Patrick and Greg Abbott all know how to do that, and it isn't busing people to Washington. It is by the governor as the commander-in-chief of Texas forces, and every governor is the commander-in-chief of their own state's forces, Stopping the invasion, first of all, Greg Abbott calling it invasion, and I don't think many people would dispute that's what's going on, and then repelling that invasion under Article 1, Section 10 of the Constitution. If you want to provoke a constitutional crisis, then maybe you should use your constitutional authority to do it instead of a bunch of press gimmicks. And that's what we would urge, not just Governor Abbott, we're talking about Texas, but Governor Ducey over in Arizona as well, and his attorney general has found he has the legal authority to do this. Right. So there's nothing in the way within his state from acting to defend well, the borders of their state and the United States. And to your point, if you want to force a constitutional confrontation, you could do the exact same thing by removing the Ill illegal immigrants back to yes. Mexico instead of to Washington, yes. D.C. Uh, all right, Ken, great conversation, great perspective. Perhaps we'll hear 
from the politicians in Texas in response. Uh, thank you for your time this morning. Good to be with you. You have a great Easter.